I was talking with one of our students who's a big fisherman and he was talking about taking his kids out fishing and just enjoying the experience and I um, I was sharing with him that we've been taking my son who's four out fishing and and just having fun with it and you know not worrying about you know yeah yeah we're all trying to catch fish but not worrying about um, so much of the result but just having fun while we're out there and yeah I'm not talking I'm not talking to my son directly in that way but that's kind of the message that I'm trying to convey you know having fun with each other while we're out uh, the lake or the river and just just fishing and he made a really good point he said look we're not fish we're not catching we're fishing so there's a difference between catching and fishing yeah the the process of catching a fish is really exciting but and you could, you know, you could keep doing it over and over and it seems like it would be, it would never get boring, really. But part of fishing is, isn't just catching or fishing isn't only catching, I should say. There's so many other things to, to appreciate when you're out there fishing, including, you know, just being out there with, with the, you know, starting with your, the company that you're with, the people and the friends that you're hanging out with, and then you know extending that to um, just being in nature being outdoors enjoying enjoying um, the process enjoying what it is that you're doing the different scenery that you're with you know the kind of the unpredictable stuff that you can only experience because that's that's where you are and you're just just doing it um, I think so many times we in competition think it's only about winning and we forget about everything else we forget about the road trips the fun the fun things that happened um, you know if you were to take a video from the beginning to the end the the competition itself or the matches that you won would be very small within that video clip there's so many other things um, yeah, we're all working towards the win, but again, it's it's not it's not the only thing that you need to take into account as you work towards uh, catching a fish. We are all trying to catch our fish, and we're all trying to do it with different techniques. But it's important not to forget that you have your goal, but there's the the process that you're taking, the journey that you're taking in in progression to get closer to that goal um, a good person or and the trick is is to not lose sight of either right it's not okay to just I don't think it's you can and everybody has their own thing but I think to have a, a healthy approach to really enjoy you know what it is that you do and have fun with what you're doing you have to enjoy both the process the fishing itself and you also have to remember what it is that you're there for, your goals. You're there to catch a fish. It's really easy. It could be really easy to go fishing and not be present and not be aware that you're, you're actually catching a fish. You could be, if you leave your, let's say you leave your pole in the lake and, and uh, you know, you're hanging out chatting with a friend and you don't realize that you've caught a fish and then all of a sudden... Um, he's unhooked himself or he's the fish has unhooked itself and it's it's gone um, you for you forgot about your goal you forgot about why you're there and and if your goal isn't to actually catch fish if it's to actually enjoy your company that you're with then that doesn't matter so much but if your goal while fishing is to to catch then you need to remember that part of part of the fishing process part of what you need to be aware of is also you know the catch itself not just hanging out with people and uh, enjoying the scenery and the birds and and everything that goes with it um, the jokes you know all those things are great but you have to remind yourself you have to remember that you're working towards a goal which is to catch a fish 
And the opposite's true too. Sometimes we get so focused on catching the fish that we forget the important part. The, we forget the other important part, which is the process, the fishing process itself. The people that you're with, the jokes that you're exchanging, learning how to tie a knot, you know, um, trying different lures and different bait and seeing what works and enjoying the, the, the nature that you're surrounded by. The unpredictable things that happen while you're while you're fishing. Um, there's so, there's so many elements to it um, that if you're only focused on the catch, and if you walk and you know if you're thinking, well, if I didn't catch anything, that was a complete waste of my time. Then I believe that process is kind of uh, you, you're not gonna. It's not something fun. Right. If you're walking away from that that event and you're thinking, man, that was a waste of time. I didn't catch anything. Man, that that wasn't worth my time. I didn't get anything out of it. Well, then, uh, I don't recommend fishing because part of fishing is is that. Uh, again, it's not just catching. Yeah. Are we all going out there with the intent to catch? Of course. Do the professionals catch something every time? Of course. They're professionals. That's their job. They have to catch, right? Their, it's their purpose, their intent is to catch. And, and that kind of takes us into another discussion, but the, that's the difference between a professional and somebody who's a hobbyist or somebody who's just enjoying the process. Now you'll find that professionals have figured out a way or, or along the way they figured out how to enjoy the process as much as they enjoy catching. And they've figured out how to get how to enjoy the process that def that guarantees them or increases their chances of getting to that catch and that's an interesting part or that's the unique part about m that that makes somebody a professional um, that sets them apart from everybody else uh, to be a professional any anything you're you're unique you're a unique uh, you know five to ten percent top five to ten percent of that group so um, just something to think about you know what is your goal as you're working towards something what is the catch that you're working for what is the fishing what it is what is the fishing process what what's part of the process that you need to figure out to enjoy and what how can you how can you best enjoy that process while still uh, not forgetting or not losing sight of your goal not forgetting uh, things that you need to get done things that you need to focus on sometimes again we're so focused on the catch that we forget to to laugh at the jokes right um, it's almost like we're we're walking around with blinders you know you could you could walk past the most the most beautiful scenery on earth if all you're focused on is catching you're not going to get to enjoy that. You're not going to get to experience that catch. Uh, you're not going to get to experience that fishing moment that comes with the the event itself. Now you might get you might get your catch, um, but again, the I think the best the best way to go about it, the best approach is to figure out a good balance of both. How can you enjoy your fishing trip and still work towards that catch? And, and get closer to that catch and get your catch that you really want uh, good luck you guys if you have any comments or questions below topics that you'd like me to talk about I'd love to share my insight just uh, comment below and uh, let's keep working to uh, let's keep working on it I'll talk to you guys soon